All right, we are now recording. And we're doing ambient audio, so folks, uh, whatever you say is going to be heard. <laughs> we'll attach your name to it later. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks everybody for coming today. This is our second event. Uh, we tried um, our inaugural event last year with web app pen testing, and this year we decided to start more of a, um, maybe a progression, if you will. So we had the idea that maybe Metasploit would be a good workshop to do, but a lot of times when you get into the Metasploit workshop, there's a lot of questions about how you got there. You know, how did you find those machines? How did you discover the host, figure out what ports there were, figure out what services were running, and have some idea that there might be a vulnerability. So we're going to do the InMap workshop this year, and then that may lead into the Metasploit workshop next year. So the reason we're here today is that we are helping a good cause, Johnny Long, over in Uganda. And all the donations went directly to him and his family for their regular expenses. And he has a website that I imagine a lot of you all want you to donate at hackersforcharity.org. And he's also on Facebook and, and Twitter. There's two Twitters. There's a I Hack Stuff, which is his personal Twitter, and there's the charity's Twitter as well. Does anybody have any questions about Hackers for Charity while we were here? All right. So, I want to thank Sullivan for donating this room. Uh, they actually not only gave us the room, but helped us get all the tables and chairs set up yesterday. and. Uh, got the projectors and everything set up for us, so definitely a, a big help. And the local ISSA, uh, Kentucky and ISSA, is sponsoring the event, so they paid for the, uh, the morning coffee and the food that's on the way. And definitely want to especially thank these folks. Nancy and Jana helped us secure the room and get everything set up. And Darren handled all the communications, the emails, the sign up, the constant contact, and all those other facilities that allowed everybody to get registered. And uh, Randall's our president, and uh, he helped coordinate all this effort. There's a lot of other volunteers here as well that helped out today that are still helping um, with registration. So definitely a big thanks for everybody that pitched in. Our presenters today are Martin and Adrian and myself. And Martin has a Twitter, pure hate, and underscore is important. I'm not sure who the other guy is. Um, Oster. <laughs> that's right. Right, wannabe. And uh, his website is questiondefense.com. And uh, he's also on, on LinkedIn if you would like to hire him. And so he's a professional pen tester for Acubon. And I'm not sure if anybody's ever used uh, Backtracker Collie. Anybody? So he, he actually helped develop that system. One of the original, original developers way back when it was, uh, I don't know, I guess Backtrack 1 or, or Backtrack 0. <laughs> Slacks. <laughs> Slacks. Yeah. And also a co-founder of DerbyCon as well. So one of the, actually the biggest conference in Louisville, obviously, probably the biggest conference in the region, I imagine. Adrian over here is the uh, founder of IronGeek.com. And um, He's been in InfoSec for a, a long time and recently started working for Dave Kennedy's company, Trusted Sec, and also recently earned his master's degree, so congratulations on that. He's a co-founder of DerbyCon as well, and he created the Matilda Day 1 um, system, the web application vulnerability training system that you'd find in uh, Metasploit original and some other of the vulnerable um, distributions that are put out. So. And I'm me, Jeremy, and uh, I run the Weaponize YouTube channel with uh, pen testing videos and so forth on it, and do some uh, pen testing for a company here in Louisville along with vulnerability management and uh, training. And then I also do, uh, outside of work, I do training as well for some local universities and SANS, and uh, also uh, through my, my own private company. And I developed the Matilda Day 2 training system based on Adrian's original concept that's found in Metasploitable 2. So, I'm the director of education for this ISSA chapter, and I'm the only speaker today that is not a co founder of DerbyCon. So, <laughs> so uh, we don't have too many rules today. I uh, want everybody to have fun and certainly learn something. We talked about which networks were which, so we want to be sure not to scan any other networks other than the designated targets. 
Um, if you want to be a target, that's that's fine. And kind of at your own risk, of course. Um, definitely don't want to hack on anything unless you're given permission. So just be careful which areas of the network that you're scanning. Definitely ask questions today. Raise your hand or uh, wait for a pause. But uh, if whatever question you're thinking of, certainly two or three other people around you have the same question. So definitely go ahead and ask. And whatever you learn today, try to help other people out around you if they're having trouble today. And, and certainly help others with what other information you can get out of the workshop. So with that, we'll um, get set up for our first round of talks, which is going to be from Adrian. He's going to start out with the basics of using the tool and also some background information on what the tool's doing. He's going to go over TCP IP, which is a major portion of what um, NMAP is doing when it's scanning and also cover some UDP as well. And then teach you how to get the tool started, how to discover some hosts, and the basic functionality plus interpreting the output. All right, make sure you uh, get your laptop set up.